me to smile behind my mask. How long will it last? Stimulus going fast. Government won't act. How long will this be going on? Aloha, this is Sky, your soulful progressive with Feminine. Feminist News Network, that feminist news that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Ahi Room, giving you that soulful news you need. Yes, indeed. And if you haven't told a friend to like and subscribe and get that soulful news that soulful way, well, baby, you better let them know I'm the only ADOS African American out of Honolulu, Hawaii, giving that soulful opinion news the right way. I know that's right. Tell a friend to like and subscribe. Click that link below and see a three years worth of videos. I know that's right. So what is it I want to talk to you about today? What is really going on? The vote is in. Chantel Brown, 51% to Nina Turner's 44%. Yes, the establishment's dark money came and swooped in, or who owned the voting machines. Well, we're going to listen to Nina Turner's concession speech. Then, we're going to shortly discuss.
But what I was fighting for is still a reality too. Healthcare, increasing the minimum wage, making sure people can unionize, making sure people can afford their prescription. See, none of that changes. And that's why I count it all joy because my journey continues. So I want you all to stand by. Nina. 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 One question. Uh, let me ask you, Nina. George, what, how do progressives in the combat what you call the evil money for next time? Because you were up considerably, and then you had nearly two, nearly two million dollars came in from out of state. How can a progressive combat that going forward uh, to not be speared out of the race? I don't want. I, I want progressives to be very resolute, and I want us to keep on running because we are winning. I raised six million dollars in this race. I was outperforming every other candidate in this race until that dark money came in, and I've raised more money individually. I think my race is a template for progressives in terms of how we raise that money. We got to get in, a, a, you know, earlier. Not early, not necessarily early. This is a special election. We just got to plan a little, a little more. This is not an indictment on our movement. This is an indictment on dark money. Progressives shouldn't feel bad. Because until that evil money came in here, 35 points up, the only way they could have won is for dark money to come in here. We need real campaign finance reform in this country. It is a disservice to, to the voters to have special dark interests come in here and dictate who gets to win. If we let them win here, they're going to keep doing this kind of stuff all over the country. And so I am more committed to ensuring that that does not happen. So I'm going to work. I can't give it all away tonight. But Jordan, you will you will know what Sister Turner has in store. 2022 Senate? 2022 Senate? <laughs> uh, Portman's retired. I know, I know Senator Portman is retired. I'm not ruling out anything, but one thing I will tell you is I am going to work very hard to make sure that this does not happen to progressives, or at least if it happens to progressives, I want to make sure that they have more than a fighting chance to be able to win. Part of it is getting good money in early to help the progressive that's being attacked. That's what it is. There's money used for Evo, and they made it very clear uh, from the beginning of this race that it was going to be a anybody but Nina, and they meant that. And as everybody can see, 13 candidates in the race, and I'm the only one that gets attacked. The only one. Other things were said, too. One candidate in this race had a red box, so one, inviting that money in. So what I learned, there's several lessons that I learned from this race. One of them is, when you have progressives running, good money has to come in to help them very, very early. I ran a very policy-driven race for a very long time, and I didn't start contrasting records until later in the race. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's a lesson. Maybe that's a lesson. I know you heard that. That was the most inspiring concession speech I have ever, ever heard. And she did not denounce her run for 2024 for the vacated seat and another seat, maybe even go against Chantel Brown again. We know that Cori Bush won on her second go around. Let's hope that Nina stays in there because she's most definitely working to get rid of the dark money. Leave those comments below. And let me know at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that YouTube channel and that Facebook page. And remember, I'm that Soulful Progress one on Twitter. Got that ran of the day on Blogger. And I'm no longer that one woman team because I got that news crew. Join on in and tell a friend. I know that's right. And if you care to donate, that is Memo at Sky Soulful Progressive. Thanks and mahalo in advance. And I want you to know I appreciate you. Thank you. And remember, 
in this era of hate, we're going to have to keep telling the truth. I know that's right. So, remember, thanks for what. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace. See the smile behind my mask. How long will it last? Stimulus going fast. Government won't act. How long will this be going on? I'm standing here in line. Struggling.